Hey, so an exciting feature from Go High Level that was just released. They just released an IVR feature. And if you don't know what an IVR feature is, it has to do with your phone system. So if you've ever called a lawyer's office or a doctor's office and you get a pre-recorded message telling you if you press one, you'll go here. If you press two, you could speak to so-and-so. If you press three, you could speak to, with the help desk. If you press zero, you can speak to an operator. That is now integrated within Go High Level. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick how you can create that. It's all made uh, in the workflow section of automations, and we'll just go through real quick, and I'll show you how to how to configure that for yourself. So come in here and create a new workflow. Um, I don't know if there's a recipe out here for it. Oh, it looks like there is an IVR recipe. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start from scratch. So let's go ahead and click here and start from scratch. And then let's name this IVR test. In order to use the IVR actions, you have to come in here and add an IVR trigger. So start IVR. And then phone number, go ahead and select a phone number. Save trigger. And then add an action. So what we're going to do is we are going to gather input on a call. And hello, this is an automated message. That's fine. Press 1 for test 1. Press 2 for test Two. This is just a test message. You can upload a message over here. So if you uh, say a message or play a message, uh, we're just going to go ahead and use the robot to say a message. But if you wanted to use some sort of AI to record something that's like more realistic, you can. Uh, but we're just going to keep it simple for the sake of this tutorial. So we'll leave the we'll leave everything here default. Um, you can kind of stop the IVR here if, 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 if anything was gathered, but let's leave it default for now. All right, so you did that. Next thing you want to do is uh, insert a conditional statement. So if else statement, and we'll call this user input. Then we will come in here and let's say if somebody presses one, you can you now have this little uh, menu item for IVR gather. Gather input digits is one. Add another branch for two. Remember we said if you press one, do this. If you press two, do this. And we didn't define three. So I'm gonna show you how you would handle that. Is three. And then let's say, uh, actually we won't even create anything here. We'll leave that blank. Save this. And now you see we have one, two, and none. So if none was submitted or nothing matches one or two, as we defined digit one and digit two, then let's go ahead and configure this. We're gonna kind of go backwards here. So go down to the IVR section and we're just gonna play a message here, but you can connect the call, you can record a voicemail, uh, but just to keep it simple for the demo, I'll just say or play a message and I'll say user input invalid because if they didn't match one or two, then the user input's invalid. So we'll just say that message. Um, if they come over here to two, We'll say play a message, user selected two, save action, and then we'll do the same thing over here. Say or play a message, user selected one, save action, and then let's go ahead and publish that. So we're gonna go ahead and test this live. Hello, this is an automated message. Press 1 for test 1. Press 2 for test 2. User selected 1. All right, so in that situation, I pressed 1. I'll call again, and this time I'll press 2. Hello, this is an automated message. Press 1 for test 1. Press 2 for test 2. User input invalid. So it said user input invalid. I pressed 2 and it said user input invalid. Now let's see what happened there. Let's go back into our... Ah, here you go. We messed up here. So this is a good test, right? So I pressed 2. I expected it to redirect me to the message that said user press 2. But that's because I fat fingered it here. So if I come in here, I had a number 3. So let's go ahead and select 2. Save action, save, and now let's give it a test again. Hello, this is an automated message. Press one for 
Press 1 for test 1. Press 2 for test 2. User selected 2. All right, so it looks like that worked. And by doing that, we also tested the invalid function, right? So this is a pretty cool feature. It's powerful. This is going to help your businesses do call routing. Um, this feature is available now in Go High Level. If you're one of my clients and you're on LeadBrain, uh, this feature is available now in LeadBrain. Go ahead, test it out for your business, and hopefully this provides you with some good information on how to set it up and helps you run your business. Thank you.